The propulsion cannon allows technicians to manipulate gra gravitational forces at ranges up to 20 meters. It is commonly used in construction and mining to move materials. Operating instructions. Pull the lever once to lock onto and attract a single targeted object weighing less than 25 kilograms. The object can now safely be retrieved by the gravitational beam. Alternatively, pull the trigger a second time to propel the object at speed away from the device. Not recommended for use on organic subjects. The prop cannon. Some species are telekinetic. For everyone else, there's Altera. <laughs> so, there, so there are canonically uh, telekinetic species that we already knew about before we got here, evidently. Alright, I think we're about ready to check out the other base. I think the fabricator was the whole reason I came here, right? Everything else was just me discovering all the things I can do now. I see, and yeah, having you not scanning anything is the best case scenario because I don't really want to deal with uh, all the waypoints in the distance like I am right now with gold, which I'll be turning that one off soon. I'm going in with a lot of water, batteries, and some crafting materials. I can use that for wall lockers. Make a bunch of those. Wall lockers definitely make sense for sorting purposes to a, to a large extent. But the locker is good for just large storage. Eh, I can go with both. I wish I could lock. I wish I could label these, also. But also, these require an additional resource, making them a little annoying to use. All right, so yeah, batteries. Those can just hang out here. Frankly, I'm not really worried about the whole. Oh, you're damaging the lifespan of your cell phone battery because you're leaving it plugged in overnight or whatever the hell. Because I don't think they really. I don't think that's built into the simulation. <laughs> Excuse me. There we go. Onward. And I'm leaving just in time for it to become nighttime there again, so I don't have to deal with whether or not it's running out of power. Haha. -ha. I just have to deal with whether or not this other base is running out of power. Great. I want to make a charging station, but I won't be able to afford to yet. But, uh, should not be unfeasible for me to save up towards that soon. I just look around. Duh! Sorry, Jesus. Man, I just murder things on accident. I just look around just desperately hoping not to see a surprise. I just don't want to see anything new when I look around. And I have no idea whether there's a chance of that happening or not. It's part of the fear. For all I know, something scary will just roam over here or something. Shut up. <laughs> Thank you. Go back to fragments or something, just in case. Actually, no. Isn't it nighttime? Stop scanning. Uh, I don't want to deal with that right now. Uh, choop, boop. Table coral. Right. Route the table coral. That's fine, though. It's, like, right here. Table corals. Easy to acquire. All I need is to stab a coral. Don't make me wrong. Am I wrong? Did I just not- did I just make a dumb mistake by not grabbing the coral on the way out again? Seek fluid intake. There we go. I'm like, there's so many surfaces around here the coral could be on. You can't just get me like this, right? Shit, that's coral shell. Hey, big guy. Did I fail to scan anything around here? I really need to double check. Since I've gotten better about noticing these things over time. You stupid asshole. You didn't get the coral. Damn it. <laughs> Why do you do these things to yourself? Uh, maybe I just have coral randomly sitting here. Oh, I do. Cool. Vital signs stabilizing. Put some water away. Okay, cool. I did just have it here. Haha. <laughs> Nah, that makes me even an even dumber asshole. <laughs> Let's put it in the same place for consistency's sake. Line it up vertically with the background frame. There we go. I now have a local fabricator, which I originally went to craft so I could specifically make... Uh, wow, I think not having a coral sample was the whole reason I left too, wasn't it? And then I didn't get one anyway or something. I don't remember. I can't remember. That was like an hour ago or something maybe. Or an episode ago at least. Uh... Now, so I originally wanted that because I wanted to be able to craft food here so I wouldn't have to run all the way back home whenever my meters were looking bad. But now I have a food knife, so that fixes that, I guess. Uh, 
sorry. I reflexively change out of weapons by pressing the, uh... I reflexively change out of one tool by pressing the hotkey for another tool. Because that's just how I... that's how shooters normally work. Whereas I need to get into the habit of pressing E to put it away, and that's not the reflexive, normal way I interact with these things, usually. I gotta get into that habit. Let's see, I don't have a lot of storage right now. Let's see. It's currently still nighttime, right? When am I gonna invent a clock? <laughs> Not that I, the, although I have to figure out what the clock means. I'd have to coordinate to this game's day-night cycle, I guess, and all that. Okay, so. Let's go with... Wall Locker. There we go. Water. Seems like a plan to me. I've got a lot of... I've got a lot of water right now. I can, I can always rename it to something else if I choose to not have a long-term water storage location. Right now, I can kind of use some options. Oopsie. There we go. Bunch of water stored there. And because it's always a good idea, let's do... Oop. Is that sticking out weird? Maybe. Titanium. Maybe not the best thing, because, you know, titanium takes up a lot of space. But just developing a bit of a system here. There we go. Alright. Titanium and water up storage places. Just to give me a little bit more to work with, because I have one locker here right now. Uh, so let's try to make some of this make sense. Right, batteries. Yeah, I'll, I'll, just, I'll just jam the batteries in here. Everything's pretty full up at the moment. I'll keep the power cell on me, because if my vehicle goes to shit... Yeah, I'll keep one battery on me. One, one battery, one power cell, that makes sense. So if anything goes catastrophically wrong, I can swap it out, but otherwise my resupply is back here. Long-term plan is to make a battery recharger here also, because then I don't have to worry about running out of batteries here at the base because they'll just keep recharging. Where is it? There it is. But for that I need silver primarily. Copper too, but silver's the rarer one, but I should be able to get that soon enough. Okay. Unfortunately for me, that, that means everything's kind of in order right now, which means it's time for me to go back down there. Alright. Hooray. Where is my... There it is. Alright, so, Pathfinder tool. Laser cutter, habit, habit, no, let's put repair on there. In case something goes wrong with the ship. Yeah, sea glide, scanner, thermo blade, repair tool, Pathfinder. I'm gonna try to craft a Pathfinder, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go down in the hole, and I'm gonna go towards the Degassi base with the Pathfinder. That's my current goal. Which, there should be a waypoint, yeah, down there, that's my one current one. This thing looks neat. I don't know what the range of each of its things in one path is, but we'll see. One of my concerns is definitely how we're going to handle oxygen. Let's see. 90 seconds of oxygen. I mean, I've got... I've got water. I can make my own food on the fly at this point. I'm more or less as prepared for this trip as I'm gonna be. And if I avoid attention, which I have so far, then I should be safe down there. <clears throat> so... Hooray! Let's go back down into the shitty place that's full of shittiness. And use my Pathfinder tool and give that a go. Did I already save? Let's... It's always good to be safe. There we go. I'm partly concerned in case, like, the game crashes or some other surprise happens. You idiot. Uh, you're reasonably repaired, but let's just go in full on. You good? I guess. You just... Stop swimming into my sea mouth. Sh shut up. 
shut up. Dummy. <laughs> Alright, well. Circle of life. <laughs> now the others eat him. I think I've, I've scanned the floaty guys before. Yeah. There was a whole Pokedex entry about these guys like totally float. That's like their thing they do. And that's all there was to it. Could I have hit that to get the salt? Whatever. Let's go back into the planet's butthole. Alright. This is how deep I can get. <clears throat> so realistically, I think that I can just go along the... the yeah, no. I was thinking maybe I could take the Seamoth along the the roof of this area without it being a problem. Uh, that might just barely be the case, yeah. Yeah. If I stage the roof, I think I can make it to the the habitat, or at least closer with the Seamoth. But I also want to test out my option. I don't know. Uh. Eh. I want to try the Pathfinder tool, I guess. I'm not crazy about the idea. How far away is it? It's a... Uh, it's a half a kilometer. Oh, yeah, the 250 is how deep it is. Okay. Oh, are you coming after me? We doing this? We doing this? We fucking... Come on. Come on. Come on. No? Alright. We're not doing this. Just resetting my oxygen real quick. Alright. I think I need to go to the roof, or how does this work? Oh. Nope, you can just plow them out. That's cool. Like this very much. <laughs> Feel very alone. That's lava down there. Alright, that's how far we're making it. So I need to give myself time to speed back. Or I'll die of oxygen loss. Those are neat looking. They're really small. But they're, they're, like, they're like little holographic green arrows that point towards the next one, more or less. Fuck me. I'm gonna die. This is what dying sounds like. This is what dying sounds like. I'm gonna go weave. Oh. Oh, it left me alone. Okay. Oh. I'm alive. Why did it open that? Oh, look at those little guys. Warning. Maximum depth reached. Hull damage imminent. I have to be real careful here. Uh. Looks kind of impossible. It goes down. I don't think long distance cave, uh, cave exploration is uh, viable. Boy. Nope. Nope. I thought I'd test it a little bit. 
Your fucking hold damage happens in like intervals of like 10. Was that the sound of me impacting my own hologram? Holy crap. That's severe. Okay. That's why we keep you repaired and... <laughs> Holy crap, yeah, like, you lose like 10% hull integrity per second. That's brutal. Okay, so if, if I'm gonna try to make it there... Eh. Let's go. I'm gonna stay near the roof if I can. I want. I don't think I'll make it to the Degassi. I'm also also like that wasn't my core plan. Those holograms. It's mainly I wanted to test it out and see what it looks like and use it where it might be useful, which is to point at my base's location, which I think is a good idea. So I can see those for a while for navigation purposes. But yeah, I see this and I want to scan this, obviously. Oh, come on, there's gotta be something here. I've never been here before, have I? No? No? Total waste of time. Alright. Let's rush back before I drown. Uh... As one final goal... I think I might want to scan one of these guys if I can. Give that a go. Just because it might give me information or something. Or, you know, just it's good to scan things. I'm scared though. <laughs> I don't really want to deal with them. All right, oxygen taken care of. Uh, yeah, so I cannot take the Seamoth here. So even though I know that they are in the underground cave, I can't use the... I can't get to them via the Seamoth. And so I can't use the caves at all, because I can't survive down here, oxygen-wise. If I made enough pipes, you might be able to breathe your way through here, technically. But that's questionable. Uh, I don't like the idea of trying to get close to these things. Maybe I'm small enough that they don't try to attack me. Nope. Nope, I'm gonna die. This is how I- No! Did I scan it? Did I at least scan it? Fuck you guys. I don't like it. It tries to eat me. It very much tries to eat me. Yeah, they, they will attack me. Okay. Nope. That like half killed me on the spot too. Ow. Oh, I'm gonna have to repair that. I guess it's not a big deal though, because repair tools just use battery. I keep thinking that they'll use some kind of resource, that poor fish. But they don't use any resources. <laughs> Oh my god. I can't believe how powerful the Seamoth is. Oh wow, look at that. Those things are cool looking. Mainly because I know they're not threatening. That really helps. Fix you up. There we go. Die. Nope, you're hard to kill. <laughs> Like the biter becomes the bitten. Where's the where's all the fish at? Oh boy. Sharky. Chomp. That's great. That's great. <laughs> Where'd it go? Oh my god, he died for nothing because I can't find him.
Fuck you. <laughs> I'm out. Just grabbing some miscellaneous stuff while I'm out here. Well, cause why not? I do, it does feel weird not having a docking thing. Like a place, to, a place to dock my ship. I just kind of dump it. It's like, you live here now. Goodbye. Alright, got our water. All good? All good. Alright, so we gotta go then. We gotta go. Whether I like it or not. To be clear here, like... I'm not fond of my situation because it means I have to explore on the surface, and obviously I'm hesitant to do that because new things are scary and so on. Uh, but on a game design level, I'm like, oh, this is cool. All the, these systems go to well, go well together, but also like when I was going in that cave, I'm like, it's so clear that this is a, a handcrafted map and not a procedurally generated one, because the cave specifically dips down in its height, specifically to stop you from being able to. Like, they, they gave you a goal that's just far enough away that you might be slightly tempted to go for it, but you'd likely suffocate if you went for it. Uh, and you can't go there with your ship, because it dips the... Even though you can access the cave with your ship, it goes down and... It, the ceiling goes down just enough that it's going to cut you off. Like, there's a lot of elements that are very intentional and crafted. And I, I appreciate that. What I don't appreciate is that my stuff doesn't all fit on my bar. Because <laughs> I just have just enough that I have to switch constantly. And I'm like, come on, man. I wanted a battery charger. That's silver, copper, and titanium. I should just deal with that. So I have a charger here. It's just not that hard to find. Let's see, and I believe I can get silver in sandstone, can't I? Like, it's easy peasy. Looking at all the wrong things. No, there's the data bank. I'm pretty sure they're putting silver in, in the sandstone. Yeah. So I need to- I need to find some sandstone. So get on that, please. How are we doing power? Oh, we're good on power, because it's probably daytime right now anyway. So I got that going for me. Uh... I'll probably make duplicates of everything while I'm here, eventually, but that's the big thing is... Yeah, copper, titanium, and, and silver, and then I'll have a battery charger, and then I can just have my batteries all set. the sun going down? Probably the eclipse. That midday eclipse. Silver. Even this stuff, I was like, wow, I can find silver over here by the red stuff. But, you like, still had to, like, find it and track it down. Like, now I can, like, now I can just home in on where it probably spawns and then flip that coin as to which of the two or three things I get, as opposed to wandering randomly and hoping. Still a little jumpy around those things, they're still kind of threatening. Just a big thing above you in the ocean. Whoa, suddenly a lot more. Deeper down, though? Oh, yeah. Deeper down. Yeah, I've got the silver, right? Silver, gold, lead. At this point, I either want to re head back and recalibrate for... Limestone, or just find limestone on my own. Uh, there we go. No, press E, not tab. So give up on the sandstone. There we go. Oops. Man, I, I... Every reflex is wrong for me in this game. It's just, there must be something about... Like, there must be... I wonder if there's, like, a rule they're breaking somewhere about on how, about how people usually hotkey their games or something. Just because, uh... Ref I'm doing it all reflexively wrong. Some of it just reminds me of stuff like when, like, games disagree about whether to put E or F as the interact button. 
and how that can really ruin you when you're playing two games back to back that both that have uh, the two opposite versions. Yeah, are the red ones the thing it was telling me to scan? Mm, nope, that's just a spade fish. Hello, I am a spaceship, but I'm called a spade because I'm also kind of like a shovel, I guess. What were you telling me to scan? I thought I saw a scan icon. It probably was a rarer fish. Is he you? Oh, it's you. Hoop fish. There we go. <laughs> God, that's a weird design. Alright, yeah, that was the eclipse. We can't have them solar panels working too well now, can we? Uh, first I have to make... Wiring kit and copper wire. Battery charger prepared. Probably gonna be my somewhat universal spot to put them in. There we go. Now I've got a battery charger, so we're good. Don't actually have a battery to charge, but you know. <laughs> Not really, at least. Uh, grab these batteries. Those are my four overflows. So we can double check everything. Yeah, you. You, you need to have charge. Uh, click. Might as well use 100%, right? Yeah, so, you, so my scanner and my knife don't use batteries. It does use batteries, it's just not showing up. This is 100% power that says, eh? Doesn't say anything. I wonder why. Oh well. Important thing is I'm prepped. Right, let's jam them batteries in there. That'll keep this base busy with something to do, even when I'm not around. Keeping its batteries charged. Now both bases have ba have batteries, so I am always good to go. Uh, let's shut you up. I don't need any more limestone. We don't want you burning through my power. Being able to scan reef backs, that's interesting. That means I assume that means that there's reasons to scan re reef backs. Like knowing reef backs are nearby, like maybe there's rare stuff you can find on the backs of reefs. That, reef backs, that's really useful. The backs of reef backs. That sentence will mess with you quickly. Stashing all my resources. Got a spare battery. Uh, all my stuff's here. Let's put the Pathfinder tool away. I don't think I'm using that anymore. Appetite Builder. Yeah, I might use that. They definitely keep the repair tool on the bar and the laser cutter. In case I find a wreck and because I need to keep my stuff repaired at all costs. Other than that, I'm good on batteries. I've got a spare. Let's swap it with something that has better charge. Oh yeah, one of these is already 100. Boom. Charge that one up. There we go. I'm happy to have this tool. If I was a person that... Like, I clipped through this, thankfully, so I'm not that concerned and it's a really convenient spot. But if I, I definitely wouldn't put it that way in real life because it definitely... You'll, you're just gonna walk into it. And that is a problem with the layout. See, I'm going on a longer trip. I can get my own food, but I need to bring water. Or I can get in trouble. Yeah, let's load up a bit. Don't know how long this trip's gonna be. I'm exploring, you guys! Oh, I don't want to! Alright, this is great. Just gotta go further out into the bad direction where bad things happen. And I've got a, I've got a backup battery, I've got water. So we're gonna go there, then we're gonna go down into a cave when we get there. What was that fucking sound? That oh, things are just going into me now. Oh, it's closer to the HQ. That's interesting. Oh, so the direction I was going in 
if I had the opportunity to go up from towards the surface, I would have gotten closer to my base. Probably why there wasn't any exits is because I was I'm actually like that some of that stuff I was finding was directly below my base. Oh weird. That means that bait that means that the red the red cave base is currently irrelevant to my goal. I did not associate the fact that this is pointing towards the HQ. 